Hello YouTubers. So I want to uh, start one more video today and uh, this one I want to talk to you about how to save user settings so then every time the application starts you have some type of information that was saved from the last from the last time you used the application. So let's call this uh, save saving user settings and over here in my form, all I'm going to do is drop a button in it. I'm just going to try to make this as simple as possible. Uh, Right-click your application. Um, uh, I just named my saving user settings. Go to properties, and then in here you have a settings tab. Okay, let's uh, create our first settings. Going to be uh, let's say title, um, and then the second one is going to be um, I don't know button. Okay. So here we could we could do anything that we want to. Um, we could do um, a color, uh, a directory, uh, server name, a database name. You know, there's there, there's so many possibilities. So we were, were I'm going to create this uh, this two keys right here. One is a title. One is a button. I'm going to save my uh, settings in here, and then I'm going to call them. So let's say when the form loads. I'm gonna say that, oh, okay, let's do this. Let's go inside settings one more time. And then let's give it a value. Let's say that this is uh, a new title uh, for my form. And then the button is gonna be new button name, I guess. So we'll do that for now. Save, exit. And then over here, I'm gonna say that this.text is going to be equal to uh, over here at the top. Let's add one more uh, namespace. Uh, saving user settings. This is going to be your application name. Dot properties. Okay. So that's going to be your application name. Dot properties. Okay. And then in here is going to be settings. Dot default. And then uh, it's going to be called title. Uh, to string and then my button is going to be button one dot text is going to be equal to settings dot default uh, buttons that is that what I call them remember now dot settings let's just take a look again yeah it's called button very good so now when I load my form when I start see that the title changed uh, this one says new button. Let me just make it bigger so you can see it. Let me run it again. Over here says new title for my form. And then over here says new button name. One thing that I could do is actually save this during running time, right? Because that's really what we want. So I'm just going to add a text box here and a text box here. And this one's going to be for the title. Um, and this one is going to be for the button. Okay. And then over here, when I click the button, I'm going to say that uh, settings the default the title is going to be equal to textbox one dot text, and settings button is going to be equal to text two dot text. And then I have to call one method, which is the save method, dot default dot save. So then, um, whatever it's in here in this text boxes get persisted to those. Okay. So when I start my form, I'm gonna have whatever is the default setting. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be uh, new title, new title two, and this is gonna be um, save data. Now I'm going to click. Nothing happens because I have to reload the form. So now I have saved this information and that information to my uh, application settings. When I when I reload the form, now you see that I have the new data in here. And, um, and if I build my application, um, and I can like exit, you know, totally exit, go back in, and then just open open my solution 
was it called? It's the wrong place. That took a while. Anyways, we run it again, and then I still have those settings. And then I'm just gonna call my title Fabio, my button Scapel. I'm gonna save and then go back in, and those are my settings. So there you have it. That's how you save user settings. And again, keep in mind that you can do this for um, connection strings, for database names, uh, by for directories and so on. There's like a billion ways to use this. So hopefully that was helpful, and um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.